What's up guys, it's uh, The Real Palms here, and this is a tutorial on, um, what's it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is on my render settings for Cinema 4D, and then we'll also go into part 3 of the tutorial on my 3D text in Cinema 4D. Nice, sounds like a plan. Yeah. So, totally forgot to put this in the last part of the tutorial, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so you just, I left you hanging on the render settings. Um, so here we go. You want to go to Output, go to Custom. Or actually, don't even type custom. You can't even pick custom. You just type it in. So go to the width. Go to 1920. Height 1080. Resolution 72 pixels per inch. Um, doesn't really matter. And then just make sure frame range is on turn frame. Go to your save, and you're gonna, gonna want to save it. Just hit the little three dots to where you want to save it. I am going to save mine to my desktop, um, and then I'm just gonna type in tutorial text and then change the format to PNG which is in the middle alpha channel make sure that's checked and yeah and then you want to go to global illumination now to do that you want to go to effect and then go to wherever it just went wherever that just went damn Gabe sorry about that we forgive you Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. It's not an effect. It's in multi-pass. And then go to a global illumination. And then make sure on general, uh, it's GI mode is IR plus QMC, still image. Uh, depth is 2, 100, 100, and then 1.8 gamma. And then I'm pretty sure, you, yeah, you can leave everything else the same. Um, and then I want to go to multi-pass again, type or pick uh, ambient occlusion. And make sure it's checked on apply to scene, color, black to white. Um, <clears throat> and then just copy these settings down. I'll leave it up for a second. I'll just go through it. Minimum ray length, 0 centimeters. Maximum, 120. Dispersion and accuracy, both 100%. Minimum samples, 10. Maximum samples, 128. Contrast, very important, 30. 30%. And that's it. And then you just want to render that out by hitting this little middle button render so I'm going to pause my tutorial right now and then I will come back when it's finished rendering be right back alright guys I'm back so this fully rendered um, as you can see so I'm just going to open up Photoshop and go to file new 1280 by 720 and then you just want to go to file place um, go to where you saved it. I saved it to my desktop, so it will be somewhere around here. Tutorial text, there we go. And then, oh, forgot to tell you guys, um, if you haven't watched the cell rendering tutorial, go watch that now. But what you just want to do quick is just check off global illumination and cell or and ambient occlusion, and go to effect and cell render. Um, Mm, yeah, um, it should be in there. Yeah, it's in there. Um, and then just make sure edge color is set to white, and background color is set to black, and edges and outline are both checked. And then just save it as like another link. So tutorial text too, and just render that out. Um, that shouldn't take too long. While we're doing that. Um, you just want to right click on your layer in Photoshop and rasterize it and then go to blending options and immediately add a drop shadow change the distance down to 0 the spread change to 30 and change the size to 20 uh, add an inner glow and just leave everything the same but instead of blend mode um, of screen go to blend mode of overlay and then for gradient overlay um, just go to uh, overlay just change the blending mode to overlay and then crank down the opacity just a little bit to 75 percent normally and then um, let's say you're making a background that is a regular background and you want it to be tilted to the left um, how your gradient stays at the bottom what you want to do is just go back to your blending options go back to your gradients and then just change the angle 
to uh, just type in 180 if you're going that way or 0 if you're going to the right if it's facing the opposite direction um, but right now we're just going 90 which is above and then we'll just change this back to what it was okay so now I think our cinema 40 is almost done yep so just give that a second and be right back when that's alright guys so that's done um, what you want to do is go to file place and then just do your tutorial text number two or whatever you did and then rasterize that layer right away and then go to blending modes and go to screen um, and then what you want to do is I normally take a big eraser and then um, crank it up to like 360 or 400 somewhere around there and then I normally just take a soft edge and just brush over um, the edges on the left a little bit maybe even go half so it blends a little bit so that's pretty cool how it starts uh, halfway there that's what I normally do and then I just drag in my background um, that I do so yeah guys so that's my tutorial on layered text and um, hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and a comment and then also leave a comment on what you want for future tutorials um, so yeah Ashby I like to fuck bitches peace